Let me tell you, finding a good place to film takes about an hour. I swear, my tripod is just done. It just keeps falling down like this, and we, we can't film like this. That's not, that's not a possibility. Okay, I guess we're just not filming today, but actually I have to, so let's figure this out. Who'd have thunk we'd end up getting stuck so perfectly? I forgot, thumbnails are a thing. Hey you guys, what's up? It's Ruby, and before we go any further, yes, my shirt does say unicorns are real because they are, and if you say that they're not, you're hurting my feelings. Today I have my final fabulous finds for the fall season. Holy cow, that was a tongue twister. I don't know how I said that without messing up. This fabulous find is actually so big though that I'm actually separating it into two parts, which I don't think I've ever done with a video before. So in this first part, I'm gonna show you all the accessories and the shoes, the candles, and the beauty products that I have purchased recently. And then in part two that will be up next week, I'm going to show you all the clothing items that I purchased. Just. Let me just say before I go any further in this video, this is definitely collective. I would never purchase this many products in like one shopping trip. I've been collecting this stuff for about, I would say three and a half to four weeks, so it has been a good little bit. Um, so without further ado, I hope you all enjoy this video because it's going to be very, very, very long, but that's okay. And let's just get right into it. Also, if you all want a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now, please leave that in the comments down below. This has kind of been my like everyday, out the door fall makeup tutorial. If I want to do something kind of simple but very festive, this is what I've been wearing recently. So even though fall is like almost over by the time I'm posting this video, let me know if you still would like to see the video or it might be up before this if I decide to just film it anyways and like upload it. So I don't really know. But I kind of have like the orange eyes going on and the brown lips, like the reddish brown lips. So let me know if you guys want to see how I achieved this look. Other than that, let's just get right into the video and I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm in such a good mood today. It's been forever since I sat down and filmed for you all, which you wouldn't know because my videos are pre-filmed, but it's been a really long time. So I'm very excited to sit down right now and talk to you all and life's just been crazy stressful and I haven't had time for YouTube, which makes me honestly so sad because I love talking to you guys and responding to comments. So I'm so glad that I'm back and more videos are on the way. But until then, let's just, let's just get into the fabulous finds. Ooh, wee, woohoo. From a boutique in my home state, I don't really want to say the name, I got one of the um, like long string chokers. So basically it's just this endless like brown suede string with little gold um, detailing on each end of the string. And this has been like all over the internet, all over Tumblr. Basically it's a choker that you can tie and make virtually like any style you want. I've been wearing this all the time. Um, I know that the store that I got this from also sold it in white and black, but I didn't know how much I was going to be wearing this style. Turns out a lot, so I'm definitely going to go back and buy them in more colors. But it was really inexpensive, I think it was only like $7. So it's a really like great fashion piece and I know that it's been all over the internet. To be honest, I could probably make this myself, but like I don't really have the time. So we're just going to buy it from a store. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm absolutely obsessed with socks. So I purchased four pairs from Target. This first pair is some black thigh high socks with three buttons on where the sock ends, kind of on your thigh. I love these, they're really thick, super soft. I love wearing thigh high socks in the fall. I got rid of like all mine from last year because they were just kind of old, and so I got some new ones. I also purchased this oatmeal color. It's this really pretty like knitted pattern too. These do not have the buttons at the top, but they are thigh high and they're really soft. And then I got these two pairs, which to me kind of look like sock monkey socks for some reason. These are so cute. Good job, Target. So Tumblr, I just love them. This first pair is kind of like a speckled brown color and then it has the three buttons um, up at the top of the sock and then also this really cute kind of cream colored lace ruffling. I just love the way that these look. I think that they're so cute. Don't know how much they'll like kind of fit into my personal style and like my wardrobe, but I feel like even for lounging around, they are so adorable. And then I purchased the same socks in this kind of salt and pepper like speckled gray color. I just think they're adorable and they were like six dollars each, so really inexpensive. In my last fabulous finds, I believe, I purchased a pair of black thigh-high suede um, heel boots from Route 21 and I have been wearing them all the freaking time let me tell you. I really didn't know how much I could incorporate them into my wardrobe, but turns out I wear them all the time, and recently Rue21 
got the boots in this brown kind of tan suede color so obviously I purchased them and I had a coupon so I got them for like half off they are these brown suede thigh-high boots with a heel and they tie in the back um, they have a zipper right here these are actually surprisingly comfy I thought that because I got them from kind of like a cheaper brand they wouldn't be super comfortable but I've worn them to a couple music shows that I've played recently and a couple other like really fun events and they're so flattering they are so cute I think that these are gonna be a little easier to wear with like jeans because of the color it's a little bit more casual but you can also dress it up and I just think they are so cute. I got mine in a 7. I love them. Good job, Rue 21. I'm just such an advocate for your store. I purchased three candles from Bath & Body Works, and this is the last time I will be purchasing candles in the fall season. From here on out, I am waiting until winter to get any more candles. But I actually purchased these a couple weeks ago, but I've been waiting to burn them until I showed them in this video. I purchased one candle that is not from, like, their fall line. It's from their normal, like, body scent line. So I actually have the perfume that goes with this candle, and it smells really good. And so when I saw that it was in candle Form, I thought well how can I not buy it this is a thousand wishes it just looks like this it's in a pretty white color and then the lid is silver the scent notes on this are sparkling champagne crystal peonies and almond cream I love this scent I think it's really nice it's really nice for winter it's kind of like a sweet but perfumey scent and I think it would also be really nice in the spring the next scent that I purchased is from their fall line I was a little hesitant to purchase this but I think I'm gonna like it I hope it doesn't burn too strong but this is autumn sunshine it's in this bright orange color and then the lid just has the um leaf like embossed on it. I think that that's the right word. Fragrance notes of this are chilled orange, California mandarin, golden amber, and green fir needle. I am not the biggest orange scent person. Orange kind of gives me a headache sometimes, so I didn't think I was going to like this until I smelled it. I think the thing that really sets this apart is that you do smell like the fir needle. It kind of smells a little Christmas tree like. And finally, I'm so excited about this candle. I got Harvest Gathering. I walked into Bath and Body Works and they have had this line of candles where everything was in these beautiful like glass marble containers and I was like I want one of those and this one happened to be actually the one that not only matches my room the best because my room is like black white and cream but it also happened to be the scent that I like the most the only downside is there's not a lid on it but I can honestly like totally live with that the fragrance notes on this candle are fresh picked apples autumn berries and clove buds I think that this candle smells absolutely divine. I think that this would be kind of like the perfect scent to burn when you're making Thanksgiving dinner or if you're like me and you don't actually cook but you want to put something in the kitchen to make it feel a little bit more festive, this is what I would burn. Like next year when I'm living on my own in my own apartment and when I like have my own apartment I could totally picture me burning a scent like this all over the house. For now it's just gonna stay in my room like I said but I just think it smells so incredible. Like this can easily become one of my favorite scents I think. It's just, oh it's so good. Moving right along to beauty items, I have not purchased makeup and or beauty items in what seems like forever besides like kind of the necessities that I need to replace, so like powder and foundation. So recently I decided to treat myself because it also has been quite stressful recently and I was like, you know what Ruby, you deserve to buy yourself a nice little present. Go makeup shopping. I was actually at Urban Outfitters to pick up a shirt, but when I was there I saw this and this is actually a product that I've been wanting to try for forever and I thought, you know what, it's right here, I might as well buy it. This is the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I have heard so much about this product. I absolutely love Mario Badescu. I really want to get more into their products because I really am an advocate for this brand. I think it's amazing. It's so nice for sensitive skin. People with sensitive skin like myself, this brand is such a treat for your skin. I'm really excited to try this. It's basically just a like facial spray and I like to use it before I do my makeup, even after I do my makeup, before I go to bed when I feel like my skin just needs like a little refresher and then I wake up and my skin's all soft and like toned and it just, ah, uh, it feels so good. This smells amazing. Rose is one of my favorite scents, so I know that I'm just going to love this. From Sally's Beauty Supply, I got this Face Secrets Foundation Brush. It kind of looks like the Artist um, Circular Makeup Brushes. I've wanted one of these brushes for a really long time, and I got kind of the medium size because I thought that this would be great for a cream contour, but also my face is really small, and I don't like huge foundation brushes, so I figure that this would be the perfect size to use for foundation on my face, and I'm really excited to try this because, let me be real, I'm not about to pay 
like the full price for those like artist makeup brushes. As cool as they are, I'm gonna go with the knockoff or an alternative brand. So I'm really excited to try this. It was only like six dollars, so yay. Lastly, we have Ulta for beauty products because I have not been to an Ulta in forever. However, one just opened up like 25 minutes from my house, so I decided to take a trip there along with my like Ulta rewards card and pick up some products. And I'm really, really, really excited about every single one of these. Recently, I went through my makeup collection because I realized there were so many things that were just either expired or I wasn't using and I was only holding on to for nostalgic reasons. And I realized that that was no reason to really keep things in my makeup collection. So I decided, Ruby, if you want to go makeup shopping, that's fine. But first you have to throw out a lot of your makeup that you're just not using and I really did I think in all honesty I probably ended up throwing out like a quarter of my makeup collection just because I realized that a lot of things were expired and old and I want to replace it with nice high quality products that you know I like having in my collection and I am excited to use every single day. But first I just repurchased the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in number 130 buff beige. I use this every single day hands down. This is my favorite powder ever so I just repurchased it. That's not very exciting but I just wanted to say that I did it. Next I got two body care products. Um, this brand is called C Booth. I've never heard of it before but they had all their products were buy one get one 50% off so I decided to take advantage of that I do like what I see about this brand though because I think everything is like natural which is really great because recently I've been noticing that a lot of my body products have ingredients in it that I don't really like putting on my body and when I saw this brand I saw that it is paraben free it's cruelty free and those two things are really 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 important to me that rhymes so the first thing that I purchased is this sea booth all over sea salt scrub. I've been wanting a really good sea salt scrub to use in the shower because for some reason my skin's just been really dry recently and I've had a couple breakouts like on the, my back and my shoulders which I know is a little TMI but I know that a lot of teenagers my age deal with that and so I figure it's something that I shouldn't feel ashamed about talking about so I decided to purchase this. I really think it's gonna work well. It seems like a very like harsh harsh um, scrub for the body and it smells super 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 good and then after you exfoliate your body you should always use a great body butter and so I purchased this Egyptian argan oil body butter because it looked really thick and nice and not oily and I looked up a couple reviews while I was at the Ulta and people had some really positive things to say about this so it's a light purple color kind of matches the color of the packaging but I really like this it's a very light scent kind of smells like shea butter a little bit of vanilla but it just smells really good overall. Lastly, I purchased two eyeshadow palettes that I am so excited to talk about. I am just like, ah, I'm so ecstatic. Like, I, I have no idea why makeup makes me so happy, but you know what? It's okay. I have been a fan of Lorac eyeshadows ever since I started YouTube. I remember being like 10 years old and going into Sephora and like playing with all the eyeshadows and Lorac was always the brand that always impressed me every single time. Since I was 10, quite a few years have passed and Lorac still has stellar, incredible eyeshadows. So they are a little pricey, so I knew that it would definitely like kind of be an investment, but you know what, I'm getting older and I want to invest in some good products and I really want to start doing some better makeup looks and I just realized with some of the eyeshadows that I had, I couldn't really create the um, variety of looks that I wanted to on my channel for a while, so I decided to kind of do an investment and purchase two palettes that I'm so excited about. By the way, Lorac, if you're watching this video, um, maybe you should like think about sponsoring your girl here because I love your products. I'm seriously such an advocate for your brand. So first I purchased the Lorac Pro 3 palette and I'm so excited about this. It does come with a kind of like deluxe size sample of their um, behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. Here's just the eyeshadow primer. It's so cute. I've heard so many good things about this though so I'm actually really Really excited to try it but it's so small and cute and it just oh it makes me so happy as for the palette itself oh it's so new I love it here it is the palette itself comes with 16 I hope I counted right 16 beautiful stunning eyeshadow colors the top ones like the top row is matte and then the bottom row is all shimmery. When I say shimmery, I mean shimmery. I'm not a huge fan of like super, super shimmery eyeshadows because a lot of the time they're chalky and they're just not fun to work with. However, these glide on like butter. They are so, so, so incredibly creamy, pigmented, perfect, blendable. I like have nothing bad to say about this palette. Like how freaking stunning is this? I'm just so excited. It's been a while since I've invested in a nice, 
palette. I think the last time I purchased an eyeshadow palette was when I got my Naked 3 palette like a year and a half ago. So I'm very excited about this. I think it's going to be kind of a nice addition to my makeup collection. And finally, the last item in this part one of this final Fall Fabulous Finds, I purchased the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. The front of the palette looks like this. It's beautiful and white and rose gold. Also, this palette is limited edition, so if you want it, get your hands on it like ASAP. So here are all of the eyeshadow colors. They are so beautiful. Like I said, a mix of shimmery and matte and then kind of like a mixture in between like a pearl eyeshadow color as well. They are all so beautiful. There's a mixture of warm and cool tones in here. I feel like there's a really perfect mix actually, which is very rare to find in an eyeshadow palette. You either have to buy one that's like completely warm tones or one that's completely cool tones. I'm just so incredibly excited about this palette and I wish that you could just reach through the camera and like feel how creamy and pigmented all of these colors are. Also I just love how everything like is rose gold, like all the eyeshadow color names, I don't think you can see it from here, but they're all like rose gold and they're just so stunning. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. Hey, you guys, but with that completes my part one of my final fall fabulous finds. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was so long. Stay tuned next week for part two, where I show you all all the clothing items that I purchased recently. There is quite a bit, but it's all very cute if I do say so myself. Please subscribe. Help me get to a thousand. It would mean the world to me. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, night, afternoon, whenever you all are watching this, and I will talk to you all in my next next video. Okay, bye guys!